This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams who demonstrably belong on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and the fans wired in? Stay with us. We're live next. So many wonderful things to do here in Istanbul and football watching is amongst them. Welcome to the home of Galatasaray. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Galatasaray versus Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And the starting 11 for Galatasaray. Fernando Muslera is the goalkeeper. Lucas Torreira plays alongside Tongi Ndombele in the centre of midfield. And Wilfred Zaha starts. He can't be! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? So back in action, and it's up to United now to be inventive. <laughs> Sasha Bowie. <laughs> Lucas Torreira now. <laughs> Angelino. And Zaha has it. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And the throw-in here for Galatasaray. Angelino. And the cross into the middle. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. Torreira. Good weight on that pass. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Sloppy in possession from United. Christian Eriksen now. Martial! Can they put it away? And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Well, let's take another look at this. From the attacking point of view, everything is right. The shot across the goalkeeper making it difficult for him. Players coming in for the rebound. It's an excellent goal. And the keeper could do nothing about it. So, a level contest. 1-1. Angelino. Babdacci. Boy. Here's Ndombele. Abdul Kerim Babdacci. Zaha. Here's Icardi. That's a good ball. Icardi! What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Diogo Dallo, Christian Eriksen now. Now 
United might be able to cash in. That's a lovely ball. United have it once again. Diogo Dallo. So getting close to the half-time interval and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Yeah, it's certainly been an open game, but on the balance of play, I think they do deserve their lead. They just have that little bit more creativity, particularly in the wide areas. Angelino. Teammates in the middle. Oh, oh really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Angelino. That's a good looking ball. It can't be. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then what a strike. The lovely half volley. It's so difficult to keep these down. This is a very tidy finish. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So into the second half, and no doubt about it, United really need to lift themselves. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Icardi, superb looking pass. And alarmingly, that is a long way off target. <laughs> Moving the ball forward with purpose. Can he make it count? Reading it well, still could be dangerous. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here's the replay, and just look how close this is. But it's definitely the right call. That's technology at its best. and plentiful supply 4-1 currently well we have 30 minutes to go perfect tackle Ndombele wasteful from United Martial, it should be! Well, the fans perhaps entitled to think that that effort should have been better. Well, how did he not score there? That's a poor finish, I have to say. High pressing and good high pressing. And 
United have the corner. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. And he's fired over the corner. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Good ball to switch the play. Can they get in behind them? Attending to his defensive chores. And the pass deftly cut out. Lindelof. Good use of advantage in United's favour. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, no stopping him. Now can they counter clinically? A very effective challenge put in. Wilfried Zaha. Zaha. Long way out this. But the keeper takes charge and it was pretty straightforward. And we've entered the final five minutes. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Advantage, Manchester United. Martial. Shot blocked, but still alive. Keeper did his job to begin with. Danger averted for now. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points, and you're halfway there.